The capture of two of Britain's most wanted Islamic State fighters in Syria stirs excruciating memories for the widow of murdered aid worker David Haynes. Um, first reaction is you want to hurt them. You want to inflict uh, unimaginable pain to them. Uh, I believe that's... I know it's a horrible feeling, but on the other hand, I'm a human. And uh, they did something horrible to the person I loved. David Haynes was beheaded by ISIL in 2014 after being held captive for a year and a half. ...responsible for my execution. He was one of more than two dozen Western hostages whose execution was staged and filmed by a gang of four ISIL militants nicknamed the Beatles for their British accents. Of America against Islamic State. Alexander Koti and El Shafi El Sheikh, who were captured by Syrian Kurdish fighters last month, were said to be the last two active members of the cell. Haines' widow Dragana now wants them to be tried and jailed for life. But first, she hopes they will reveal where her husband's body can be found. David deserves to be buried properly. We deserve to have a place where we can go and, you know, take flowers and remember him. And, um, and that's the only thing I hope they will be. They, will, they kept at least a bit of humanity. Uh, they didn't lose that little bit of humanity so they can tell us where the bodies are, so all the families can get the remains back. All Dragana wants now is closure for her and her daughter, who was just four years old when Haynes was murdered.